it's absolutely critical to understand just how severe and how present is the phenomena of cold corrosion inside your engine. If you don't, you're essentially sailing blind. You can be in an area where you've got above quarter of a millimeter of line of wear every 500 hours, which is a, it's an engine that is barely going to survive 7,000 hours of life. So what's going on here? Strict environmental legislation and the constant pressure to keep fuel costs down mean the demands placed on marine engines have never been greater or more challenging. However, in meeting these demands, what happens inside the engine has significantly changed. Acid corrosion is an inevitable part of diesel engine combustion. At low levels, it aids lubrication and is easily managed. But adapting to a changing environment presents three tough challenges. Emission controls, which lead to lower engine operating temperatures. The trend for energy efficiency to drive bigger propellers, delivering longer stroke and lower RPM. The modification of existing engines to cope with slow steaming for better fuel economy. The latest generation of low-speed engines combine lower emission rates and better fuel economy by running effectively at part or even very low loads, but at a cost. Cool running and higher pressure means temperatures at the cylinder wall fall well below the dew point of the combustion gases, which means increased acid and water condensation. Result? Sulfuric acid, the basis of cold corrosion. Sulfuric acid causes increased wear of the piston rings and scours and pits the cylinder lining, dramatically reducing its lifespan by as much as 90%. And it's not only the combustion area that's at risk. Some engines suffer cold corrosion around the scavenge inlet ports. What tends to happen is you get large amounts of metal removed in a very short period of time. That exposes fresh metal to the corrosive effects and again it just progresses. And the wear rates are almost exponential compared to what we've seen in, in previous generation engines where cold corrosion was you know, adequately under control. So what's to be done? Every engineer should be considering the type of engine that they have as well as the operating conditions at which they run uh, because the two of those combined will dictate where you are in the range of corrosiveness. To combat corrosion for all two-stroke engines, identifying the optimum lubricating oil and feed rate is paramount through regular sweep testing. Sweep test is extremely important for an operator to fully understand cylinder lubricant demands. Stepwise, you start at a high feed rate with a constant engine load and after 24 hours take samples and then analyse those samples on board dropping the feed rate down by a step of 0.2 grams per kilowatt hour, repeating the test for another 24 hours, continuing down to the minimum feed rate that's allowable by the engine manufacturers. For highly corrosive engines, a 100 BN cylinder oil is recommended. For moderately corrosive engines, a 70 BN cylinder oil should be sufficient, depending on the outcome of the sweep test. As a further step, regular onboard oil analysis is crucial. Engine monitoring involves three onboard tests that analyze the two key parameters of iron content and BN in the oil. Yeah, it's important to understand uh, both the corrosive iron as well as the abrasive iron because they come from two different wearing mechanisms in the engine. The corrosive iron is a iron that's worn off the engine due to corrosion and the acids present and the abrasive iron uh, is from the wearing out you know, of the ring, cylinder, liner surface. Uh, and you really need to understand how much total iron there is coming from both sources to accurately dictate the level of lubrication or the type of lubrication that you need. The third test determines the residual BN level, which indicates if the engine's liners are being protected from the effects of the acidic products. Combating cold corrosion requires rigorous engine room management. Key activities include sweep testing to define the appropriate cylinder oil and feed rate. 100 BN for highly corrosive engines, 70 BN for moderately corrosive ones. Regular onboard cylinder oil analysis, as recommended by leading engine manufacturers. Engineering support from your lube oil supplier for cold corrosion diagnosis and mitigation. 
For more information about how to mitigate cold corrosion, please visit mobileguard.com.